Hi guys, welcome to another telecast in Excel. My name is Nono. First, I want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your feedback. I absolutely appreciate it. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be explaining how we can sum cells by the color, by the fill color. Now, we can do this in Excel's VBA environment, okay, by writing a macro or by using a by using a user-defined function, a UDF, okay? And we can easily do that, but I do not want to use any of that, okay? I'm gonna use instead one of Excel's, what we call Excel for macro functions, okay? Now, these functions have existed, okay, before the emergence of Excel VBA, okay? And for some reason, they are still compatible, okay, up to my version of Excel, which is Office 365, okay? But these functions, don't exist in like the normal workspace here. Yeah, I can't just do equals to and then write any of this function. It's not going to work. I have to write the functions within the name manager. Now there are a couple of these functions. There's get the workbook that helps you get the name of the workbook. And um, there are many of them. Okay. I'm going to leave a link okay in the description below to an article written by one of excel's mvps okay minda tracy and then you can check that out she does justice she you know the article actually shows you all the excel for macro functions so if you're interested in learning more about that just check the link below okay but for this video we're going to be using get the cell okay and then the type norm we're going to be using is 63 okay there are many other type norms depending on what you want to get for for us what we want to get is the color index of a particular cell okay and then of course the next argument is the reference the cell where you want to get the color index from okay so let's get into it so the first thing we're going to do is going to come to formulas we'll click on name manager okay i already had it created so let me delete it and let's do it together again okay now look at where my position my active uh, the cursor is on this cell right so i'm going to click on new and then let's give it something descriptive okay some color for example okay now we're going to enter the function okay which is get dot cell okay now the first argument is 63 because we're trying to get the color index okay now the n the next argument is the reference now but every time we're going to be referencing um, a cell that's adjacent to it just before the particular cell we want to um, get the color index to so i'm going to click on this okay but there is a trick on um, in the name manager and then when you're referring to like a cell in a workbook okay now you can see that it gives us the cell name okay but i want this to be relative so if i click on another sheet in this workbook i want you to be able to give and i'm going to show you how that works as well okay so i'm going to remove this that's the name and i'm going to leave just the exclamation mark another thing i'm going to do is i'm going to press f4 okay to remove the absolute reference now another thing i want to happen is i want this to automatically um, um, calculate so i need to include a volatile function that recalculates so one volatile function i can um, impute here is now okay but i don't want you to change the value so i'm going to multiply the noun function by zero so the value remains the same and i'm going to click on okay all right so that's it now the thing is let me show you what i mean for example why i had to leave only the exclamation mark okay i'm going to copy this color or copy this rather and then paste on this sheet for example okay now if i do equals to some color which is what we created and then i press enter you can see it returns it so regardless of the sheet we're on okay is is going to work okay let me just delete this i'm done with it okay just wanted to show you why i put the exclamation mark only okay now we have our function okay so what that means is if i come here and i do some color and i hit enter it's going to return the color index for this particular cell if i do the same thing here it's going to return the color index now if, because i put the noun function if i change the formatting of this this also changes okay let me undo it so just to show you why i put the noun function so it can recalculate now another function we're going to use very quickly so that we can achieve this is the sum ifs okay but first let me use the sum color here and then i'm going to create another column here and then call it color index okay 
all right and then I'm going to use the sum color here sum color okay so it's already there and then I hit enter so it gives us the color index for this particular um, cell okay and then I can just copy this down okay but what we want to do is to sum based on the colors okay so we're going to use the color index to do that okay so one of the functions we can use to sum by criteria is excel's sum if or sum ifs okay the sum if is for a single condition sum ifs is for multiple conditions so i'm going to use the sum ifs because i think it's more um intuitive because the first argument is easy to figure out is the sum range okay which is what we want to sum okay so i'm just going to select this okay and i'm going to press f4 to lock it now the next argument is our criteria range now criteria range is going to be based on our color indexes so we're going to select this and press f4 to lock it now what is our criteria and remember that we had to put um, just an exclamation mark so that it's um, we're able to get the color indexes of the cell adjacent to where we're writing the formula okay so uh criteria here would just be some color and if you put some color here it's going to pick up the color index of this okay based on how we set it okay and then once we close parentheses we hit enter now we can see that this is the sum of everything in this color and then we can send this down okay yeah exactly so we can check and you can see that it's it's actually correct okay the sum of this and this and this is this all right, so that is how to sum, okay? Now, what about counting, okay? Now, it's pretty much the same thing. Instead of the sum ifs, we're gonna be using count if or count ifs, okay? Um, they are basically the same function, but count if is for a single condition, count ifs is for multiple conditions, okay? So I'm just gonna do equals to count ifs, and the first argument is criteria range, okay, which is our color index, okay? And then I press F4 to lock it. And then the next argument is our criteria, which I'll just enter co some color because that returns the color index for the cell that is just before it. And then I'm just going to hit enter, okay? And then I'm just going to drag this down. Okay, so for this, we have three, which is this, this, and this. For this we have two this and this for this we have two as well and yep so this is how to sum um cells by their color and count cells by their color now if you have other ways by which we can do this please leave it in the comment section let me see how you would go about this okay thank you so much for watching